This video is an update about responsive image maps and I've had so many emails and feedback about this. Um, the one I did a while ago um, is a little outdated in the fact that I was using a third party site and they've taken the code down. So here we have um, the my client image map and this is all this is is this here so when we um, go in there that's a pawn and this is a knight and this is a queen and it all works fine but when you come down to the responsive part this is all over the place and you're getting at the bottom where you have to scroll across so that isn't responsive and so what we're going to have to do is uh, use a plugin for this so I've already done this as I say um, what we're going to do now is just go to this site here which is somebody called Matt Store. it's the same one as I used in the original video um, and what if you go on his site there you see buttercup and blossom and bubbles and when you go in to what would be like a mobile phone size you see that still works as buttercup blossom and bubbles so that's what you basically want is the responsive side of that what I have now doesn't work at all um, for that so he, he says download the plugin from github and what you need to do is this is uh, the page and this is cloner download uh, that and what you do is just download that to computer these two files at the bottom are the ones that I really need these two here the JS uh, the, the jQuery files and you download them to the to your computer your folder put all these in the same folder and then what I would suggest is actually go back to where he said and do the source code from there view source and you see how he's actually done it he does tell you but this is the way he's uh, done it I've actually changed a little bit of the code in one um, when I'm going to show you and see this bit at the bottom I've already put these in here's my jQuery files here the two at the bottom these ones um, just for quickness basically um, but what he's saying is to put this here script you take that there just before the the div there where he's put uh, at the end of the image map so you just go copy and I'll put this into my file and just before the body as I say and you just paste that into there okay another part of this and this is that's very important by putting the that just before the body you go up a bit this is his image maps but you can of course use your your own on that one in fact that's the obvious cause of it uh, and this here is the other part of the script so we we'll just copy that and put this in the head section of our web page so you can put that anywhere in the head there so you just paste that okie dokie right now this here um, on Matt Stowe's site he's doing quite a bit of styling for this and it's well it's, it's quite a bit of what you don't really need I don't think but anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, my own and which I hope is I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible um, and if we go here and the one I've done and if I just save this okay I save that refresh the browser as yeah the uh, where it should work because this is at full range but when it goes into mobile again we having problems now I've had a few people that haven't done the style and this is where they're going wrong because they put in the the javascript or the jquery 
and the put that in correctly and sometimes uh, somehow some haven't where some haven't put where the body is but what we really need to do is put the style in this is this is very very important because it's responsive by itself so if i just put img and curly brackets and we put um a width auto and we're going to put max width and we're going to put that at a hundred percent okay so now we're just going to save that as well save and we're going to put this in here refresh the browser and there we go so there's refreshed and now that is responsive there you, there's the chest there's you i'll put horse there hope you can see this horse and your pawn so that's all responsive right across the board now that's responsive so in your computer mode and there you are and it's everything's everything's responsive and back again there you do and that is fine and that's the way you work that this as i say this is very um on matt's door site he does a bit bit longer style than than i have there that is the easiest way i can do it and if i just take this out so you understand how important the style is you take the javascript away from this and this won't be um, a responsive image map but it will be a responsive image so we take the whole javascript away from that we save that and we refresh the browser again okay right see there's no way where i've got the uh the night there there's no the, it's not an image map but it is an image and it's responsive that's how important that style sheet is let's see it is um it it works at the computer end of the scale but it doesn't work at the mobile because there's no plug-in it's all taken away but this is a style and it's responsive even without the javascript so that that is where some people have fallen short on this so that's that really is a very very important thing is when you the style makes the image responsive and the javascript or the jquery is the bit that makes the uh, images the image maps uh, where you where you click on your links and in whatever you want to do with them so that's basically it um if you have a, again like i say on all videos if you have any problems with any code or trying to get this to work that's that's fine just get back to us and what i've done just in case any other there's a third party problem again with the code i've put it on my website this so the coding is always there for everybody and this is nb designs and imagemap.html and i'll put this in the description okay so again there's your uh, pawn your horse and again this is all responsive and it's all uh, it's all working as an image map and a responsive image map and all you have to do on there if you if all you want you you find it a bit difficult all you do is you do this view source and you'll see the code i've given and how it's done and all and it's as easy as i can i think this is probably the easiest way to to do this with a very simple style bit um i can't actually the computers not allow us to uh, scroll down there and um, sometimes it does this when i'm doing videos it, it just my computer is not very good but um all you have to do is just copy and paste this this bit of code and uh that's working now and you can see all that of course you do your own image maps so you between here is the thing that you actually do yourself so i hope that's beneficial to people and uh again just get back to us if you don't don't understand any of that so thank you for watching and thank you for listening